Hey, this is Jim with Diesel Geek, and today we're going to install a Mark IV Sigma 5 shifter on an O2J transmission. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to install the front to back. This is the front to back piece. This is the new um, 2022 cable end. It just has four screws uh, screwed directly into the aluminum uh, cable end. And so we're going to slip it on to the shifter cable like so. And you want it to go on and be able to move freely. It needs to move freely. And um, there's another video I'm show I showed where uh, you can make it um, open up a little bit to where if you have a bigger cable than normal, you can open it up just a little bit to where it'll go on smoothly. But to get a good adjustment, you need to have it do this. It needs to go on smoothly and be able to move back and forth. So the next thing we're gonna do once we get that on there is we have a keyway marked with the red marker here. And then there's a keyway, on, there's two joined keys on, on the spline shaft that I've marked with a black marker right here. There's just two of them right together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line those elements up. And then once it lines up, it just goes right on like that. And so once that's on, you're gonna go ahead and put the, the new black nut that we supply. And with a 13 millimeter socket or wrench, you're gonna, you're gonna rotate it around like that. And you're gonna tighten it down and it needs to be good and snug, but you don't, don't go totally nuts with it because you can break this stud off. You don't want to do that. So anyway, you're going to rotate it back into neutral and in neutral, it's free to move up and down. So the front to back part is installed more or less. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install the side to side. And this is the assembled side to side part here. So we're going to put one of the pivot bushings, the 1JO bushings on the pivot shaft and we're going to take the other pivot bushing and we're going to put it in the tube meant for it right here um, like that and so these are the pivot bushings so you're going to slide the front to back i mean the side to side on until and then you're going to engage the slider onto the front to back, back part like that and so it, it comes through here and you're going to take the shiny metal clip that we supply in the kit and you're gonna slip it on the pivot shaft, push it down until it clicks. So now the side to side bracket is installed. The next thing we're gonna do is install the side to side cable in, and this one already has the perfect pivot bushings in it. And we're gonna go ahead and open the fingers up, so, like so, and to where the three fingers are open. And we're gonna install it onto the side to side cable, and at, then we're going to get it slipped on to the pin the side to side pin. Once it's slipped onto the pin, we can go ahead, just like on the pivot axle, we can go ahead and slide the shiny metal clip on. So now it's ready to go. Now we're going to adjust, um, adjust the shifter. And the way that we do that is we first, we push down on the front to back part until it's about a third of the way down. And we're gonna rotate the locking pin inward and then up, and once it gets to the right height, it will it will it'll push in. So now the transmission is what I call locked. After we do that, we're going to go back inside the car, and we're going to install the five millimeter pin into the lineup holes in there. We can go there now. So the five the five millimeter pin is installed is supplied with the kit, and it's precision made five millimeter pin. And there are two holes for it. There's one in the shifter stick itself and there's one down in the base. So we're gonna put it in the top hole and then we're gonna put it down through the bottom hole until it bottoms out. So the, now we say the cabin mechanism is locked in the home position. So we're gonna go back in the engine bay and um, so we're gonna, we're gonna push down on the front to back part. So with one hand, we're pushing down with the front to back part. With the other hand, we're going to rotate the knurled ring until it snaps forward like that. And so the side to side is adjusted. So the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to tighten the four screws down on the front to back part. And so you have a four millimeter or five thirty second socket. And you just basically, you start to snug. You want a nice even tightening of these screws. So you just snug them down and you maybe get a little bit of a turn here and a little bit of a turn here and just go around until they're all 
uniformly tight. And it'll kind of tell you when it's when it's there. Again, with these, you don't want to go nuts because you are threaded into aluminum and you don't want to strip it out. We have a workaround in case you do strip it out, but we don't want to we don't want to have to use that if 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 at all necessary. But it, um, this has been tested. The aluminum is very strong, and if you just go a little bit at a time, you won't strip it out. So these are stainless screws into aluminum. So um, it's a good it's a good bond. So once you've tightened those down, then you can go and push down and then unlock the transmission. Once we've unlocked the transmission, we can go back inside the car. We can remove the five millimeter pin and then test to see if we got if we got it where, where it's supposed to be. So we're gonna go and we're gonna test over to the wall and then we're gonna go up into first and down into second. And, and you really want it to be smooth into first and second. Of course, it's a, it's a mechanical feel, so it's not gonna be, you know, butter smooth like a stock shifter, but it's still. And this is third and fourth. And then you also wanna to check to make sure reverse, you can engage reverse. So first and second is good, you're good, and the shifter is installed. And that's pretty much the install of the Mark IV 5-speed Sigma shifter.